Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. Uh, this is the War Tales DLC, Pirate DLC playthrough, where I'm trying to uh, go for the new content. And we started in Valtrus, have finally made our way to Tiltran. So it has been a while, did a bit behind uh, the scene content and want to get you up to speed. For starters, I did the uh, whole uh, quest line so that we can get the border pass, which I currently used. We um, have jointly seen how the arena has been finished. I have now also um, gotten the assassin spe uh, specialization. I grinded quite a few um, contracts uh, to get some money and bought a few, very few, skill books and realized that we need to be level 4 on the warpath in order to get skill specialization books. Currently, we are at level 5, so everybody leveled one level. I didn't have the money to respec yet. You can see we got a bit of influence going, and we also um, got a couple of crowns uh, going for us. Now, here's the thing where I want to do a few changes to uh, the actual playthrough. We started on extreme uh, difficulty, and I'm always a big fan of playing on the hardest difficulties. But with the grinding that I've just done, I came to the realization that I am particularly disliking one of the changes that they have done, which is increasing all of uh, the um, Valor Point costs by one across the board. And the reason why I think that that is um, equally um, inappropriate and uh, kind of misses the, the, the target a bit is because I think it does not necessarily address uh, the underlying issue of difficulty. I fully get it. Uh, you couldn't or shouldn't use the skills uh, just rapidly the entire time. But my fundamental problem with it is that it completely shifts the skill meta to a point where the majority of all skills are simply not worth uh, doing because it takes two valor points instead of one. That uh, leads to very strange fight situations where essentially uh, a lot of it is auto attacking uh, and a lot of it is really just grinding. Uh, when I went uh, through most of the fights now for the um, uh, for the bounties, it was just a lot of grinding. I think we're at um, nearly a f an entire month uh, later. I played four or five hours, if that's even enough, just to get through all of uh, the quests. And I don't want a grindy playthrough. So for viewer pleasure and also for my own uh, sanity, we're going to step it down to expert, which is the uh, most difficult level where you can use one Valor point. I might crank it up again uh, later, but I really would want to see the skills and uh, the interaction of the characters and not so much always be worried about not being able to use them. Uh, I know a bit atypical for Saiken to lower the difficulty, but it feels that uh, the idea of the extreme difficulty is the wrong one. I pretty sizably disagree with uh, that change and everything else is fine it's difficult to um, to survive resources are short I get it like that is all okay um, but the fights are becoming less interesting and I want to show you guys interesting fights uh, which means we have reverted that back now we are starting to go through children and I don't want to uh, do a long uh, quest uh, quest line here or um, actually do a lot of things here. We're basically just passing by because I want to get to the new content uh, with you guys. Wares, my good sirs. I prepared what myself as well as we could, uh, got a couple of fresh meals, got a few tools and we got a bit of uh, money available for us. All right, let's fight these guys. Good, let's see. Yep, 
If we start up here, I can even move in all the way. I like that. Hit this guy. And hit him further. Plus, we can use something like protection, because it costs one Vela point and not two. We, did, we don't even need it. Um, I just realized we do have the skill that allows us um, to get deflection the first time that we're in combat. But anyways, the point stands. Nice little sniping from inappropriate Murphy. Getting a couple of jabs in. Oh, one thing that I should say also is we got ourselves the legendary axe. For those of you unaware, uh, that's from uh, the boss in Tiltran, since I played through the entire area, of course, that was part of it. We got the assassin spec, but I am still poison spec at the moment. So we're going to see when I do, uh, when on, uh, when and if I do have the money to actually reskill. Good lord, that was a lot of damage. Very nice. See that whole assassin. Shenanigan would also not be possible because you simply can't use uh, as many skills. Good. Order has been restored, as they say. And for one, uh, Vela point. Many of the skills are, again, good. It, it feels so different all of a sudden to fight with just one skill point. Uh, Vela point instead of two. You definitely have more attacks. And I can see why they wanted to reduce it, but why not use cooldowns instead? Because elsewise, it becomes really a chore of going through the fights. This here feels a bit more like a breeze, but potentially it feels like that because uh, we have been playing on extreme difficulty the entire time. Good, our idea is... To think that we have to count been three. That's why I need mercenaries. To do as uh, many of uh, the uh, quick jobs as possible. In terms of skills, everybody here has a couple and is relatively far in their respective skill. So we'll skip on uh, the gathering option. Although, by thinking about it, we actually need um, we need iron ore. So, I wonder... Here's the thing. I do have cups. 
Maybe I will just... Try to enslave one of these guys. To think that for... Ah, Roland, Roland. Once he is gone, the farmers of Chiltern will have no... Good, let's try to capture one of them. Uh, because that would uh, then give us free labor. And that one person could simply gather a lot of uh, the materials. The problem is also we need some more dedicated miner. Elsewise, we're, we're not going to get to the higher level ores. At the moment, we are playing with only uh, found equipment. The only thing that I think um, I created was a bit of um, armor, and that was really it. hit fantastic hit moves to here everybody gets orderly enough to engage, re-engage. You guys need to be poisoned. I think we're okay. But we still need to capture one of them. That was the wrong skill. There you go. Hit. Hit. Okay, so this should not kill them. We can now capture them, right? Right? I got capture devices, correct? Hmm. Hmm. Cool. Well, we gotta level up. 
Movement is good, willpower is fine, which means we're going to continue with critical hit. So, I must commend you for your courage. Good. Look, generally... Generally, we should have... No, I didn't uh, buy them. Okay. Well, we need handcuffs and we need to get someone that can do these um, gathering jobs for us. The problem is, with four people, we're a bit short. And later, when we have maxed out uh, the um, the trade skills, then we're fine. But until such point, because we can always switch. But until such point, has offered a reward for any outlaw captured in the region. You should give bounty hunting a try. Oh nice, we got a level 7... We got a level 7 address, but we don't have a level 6 uh, character. Never mind. Okay, so... That is great. Now that is fantastic. Good trade. We need more Valor. Nah, I think we're just going to fight you because I really need a couple of uh, captives. Okay. Then gets a hit like that. Selena gets one as well. And we're waiting for their approach. the guard continue to attack and we're good This guy nicely in the back. Oh, I wanted to capture. My bad. So used to just killing them. Alright, let's try that again. Okay, 
we can't do that because we have no base ability. But the lower the hit points, the better. Gives us a good chance of capturing. Look at that, Vela points. Four. Uh, we just get deflection. Oh, that's okay. It. Pushes back. A little bit of first aid. And we're good. Yeah, the fights are substantially more easy. But okay, it's fine. It's supposed to be fun. And I think from a viewer uh, point, it should also be more entertaining. Specifically, since we can use uh, those little maneuvers, uh, this here would be absolutely impossible on are the difficulties All right are we getting a second one I think that's a good idea Now that would be a kill. I have to wonder... For whatever reason we couldn't capture that one. Maybe you can only capture one per encounter. Good, we'll take all of that. Thank you. And La Laumius is uh, now our captive. Laumius, my dude. Um, you're going to be the best miner uh, that we've ever seen. And you're also going to drink with us going to require a little bit of food but what's the price I'm willing to pay plus uh, any form of slaves are not increasing uh, the overall enemy combat count it's just he's a worker bee so to speak good let's get the resources up here we intended uh, to get you're starting as a wood uh, chopper and I can promise you you're not going to be a wood chopper for long I 
unfortunately they made it so that you can't have extreme survival difficulty and at the same time um, just expert combat difficulty. The moment that you get one down, the other one automatically goes down as well. I suppose that's fine. They wanted to go for a very particular um, experience where you need to suffer. And I don't mind suffering, I'm a masochist uh, when it comes to gaming. But I mind bad content. And I also mind that uh, we cannot gather any um, ore here. Well, too bad. Good, we're making our way towards oh, the south. Ways, my good sirs. Golden key might come in handy for us. We can always use those. And we will just rely a little bit on our gathering ability uh, to get enough material. Might I interest you in my humble wares? Might you be looking for work? Let's see what you got. We're going to the south, so this here is fine. That's good as well. And this guy, I think, has, an ha has a hammer, which we don't really need. Tome could be okay. Well, I'm just using him to... I'm just using that quest to mark uh, him. Hey, feel free to come back often. Well, there's always folk looking for work around here, especially since all the fighting... <laughs> Okay, so I think a little bit more medicine My goes a long way. Can heal the most grievous injuries. Be sure to hold on to the vials after using them. Sharpening oil, that is very important. That is very important. Might as well create it. We do have one pristine essence. Those refugees. I understand there's a war in Ezeran, but that doesn't mean they can just. Please, can you spare some food? Sure, go Thank ahead. Thank you so much. I will pray for you. For a few crowns, I can polish your armor. Please. I'm so hungry. All right. Uh, we wanted to get that sharpening oil. Because that is plenty good. Inappropriate Murphy, by the way, made a level up. Not a full level up, just an attribute point. Uh, I'm wondering, shall we do a little bit more movement? 16 I think is fair. I like a lot of movement with my guys.
So, what I'm also wondering is, when can we finally learn armor smithing? Like the other stuff, the weapons. They seem to have changed that. You can use my anvil. I can also repair your armor. Oh, a few dents here and there. Nothing more. There. Good as new. I do have a problem. If we can't create weapons, then that'll be a huge issue. Can't imagine that that is just because we do have not enough um, skill. Almost done with blacksmithing. Let me try to get it up one more. That's not bad. It's 13 armor, and I think the sad truth is that's still the best uh, we got uh, for you inappropriate Murphy. So now with a higher rank, can we finally learn more stuff? Horseshoe like pony plate. Can't believe that we cannot learn weapons. Something must be wrong. You can use my anvil. I haven't seen any recipes for oh. uh, for uh, weapons in any of the uh, the merchants, so I'm missing something, and that's not good. That's not good at all. Tada, I fixed it. Of course, when a new game is released, there are bugs, and uh, the bugs here were a little bit outrageous, so they hotfixed it, which is great. Love it. So, I think I also want that new character class. It seems like a lot of fun. Anyways, um... Yeah, we got iron weapons, which we can now craft. We do have... Let's think about it. We do have a two-handed weapon. That is fine. Bows we could definitely use. Yes, please. Uh, we do have a dagger, but we could use one-handed swords. So that's a good one as well. Offhand weapons, there are a couple of extra good offhand weapons that we could get. Let's see what else. Uh, the whip isn't bad to let the, uh, the other companions work. Uh, I think we're okay elsewise. No, no. We're really not requiring suspicion meter. I think we can focus on actually getting the other weapons and daggers and fist weapons might be a good uh, good one. Now that of course changes everything and. As you can imagine, it's a shame that we have lost that uh, opportunity to do that much, much earlier. But yeah, 
it is what it is for at least uh, we now have all of uh, the weapons available cool so moving on we want to go to the sea we want to become pirates we want to see the new content and finally in episode number five it's happening Good, we're passing by quite a bit of optional content here. Just getting to the mines wherever possible. Because believe it or not, we need iron ore. Okay, game warns me that the enemies are becoming more specialized. We're moving in. And somehow the tutorial tips. Uh, have been re-enabled. Yeah, we do have a nifty combination, by the way, if you uh, didn't know, uh, our bow has first shot, and with first shot, the first shots are critting. If the enemy hasn't engaged in combat, you are automatically critting them. There you go. And the cool part about it is, on top of it, whenever I crit, I do have a uh, talent on an inappropriate Murphy uh, to let the enemies bleed. So that's a really neat additional way of hurting them. taking some damage uh, still medium armor does not prevent you from uh, taking a lot of damage poison into throwing knife into kill To making our way to that archer. Fortunately, can't fully get to him yet. We had no more cooldowns left over. Let's 
funny how it all of a sudden begins to explain uh, uh, to us what all of uh, the different uh, status effects mean. Can we capture another guy? Other questions, do we really need another one? Potentially not. Bleeding and he has eight sticks of poison on him. Yeah, I thought so. Good, let's get our slave to work. Lots of ore in the mines. I absolutely adore it. The one problem that I would see is if the slave ever disappears, we do have an issue because now he has become an apprentice and as an apprentice he can mine gems. But yeah, the main job for now is just to get us ore. I think this here was wood cutting, right? My memory serves me well. No, it was not. My pain, but I would feel safer if Miss. Oh, thank you. Alright, good fun so far. And as long as our captive doesn't, doesn't run away, we're good. Well fed, appreciates uh, the troops company. Okay, cool. That's what I'm talking about, my dude. This here is where we can get more lumber. A farm. And we need to somehow get further to the even further to the south. with grief. Oh. Yeah, we didn't want to steal, so lock picking is out of question. Are you bandits? We have nothing. We are only 
that's normally the start position in Tiltran and the good old salt, uh, salt mine here should help us to get a little bit more material. Stop right there. This salt mine belongs to our ladyship Gontrand. I can't just as you wish. Good. We can get gems now with uh, our profession level. Yeah, unfortunately only two iron ore veins. All right, too bad. Good. We want to get to the south. Can't be that difficult, can it? Let's get a couple of more pythons so that we can actually go there. We do have uh, the ore, so that's fine. And... One more torch for good measure. We need sandstone and then we could upgrade both the cooking pot and the campfire. That would be huge. guys so wait 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 is Hawkard no 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 Hawkard will join us I don't want that Hawkard no offense you're a good you're a good boy but we don't need an additional one in our group Listen, what caused the weight? Oh, okay, well, yeah, sure. Ghosty carcasses. There you go. Plenty of room. So I assume the way over would be right around here. Plenty of things to do here in the old lighthouse and so on. But we haven't been coming here or fun we want the treasures the first treasure is down here three brandy well thank god look at that Shipwreck. Finally. No, 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 no. We don't want to angle. 
This here looks absolutely like the right place to go. Look what the sea copped up. An Arian ship. With all that debt buried the corpses I found on board. If you ask me, these guards were hit by a pirate attack. It seems the Valerian archipelago is positively teeming with them. Listen, I've been looking for work ever since I left Edoran. If you bring me some materials and a bit of gold for my trouble, I can bang this tub back together for you. That way, you could sail around whatever you like. Lovely. But I like Saint it. Jeru, listen, I've been looking for work ever since I left Edoran. Good. All we need to do is get 50 lumber. Get 50 lumber and we're ready to roll. Boys. Got ourselves some hemp. Okay, cool. But what we really need is lumber. Plenty of it. Nice. So we have found uh, at least the indicator of where Valerian is. Seems to be down there. We've also found uh, the runes. But yeah, we want to focus mainly on other content, not the standard content. So instead of me just playing through the normal game again. I think the uh, Veltra's uh, start was good enough. Gave us an indication of what extreme difficulty looks like and a different starting region which really was nice a nice uh, change of pace unfortunately some bugs prevented us from getting weapons and so on for uh, earlier which really made it potentially still a little bit harder than it needed to be And I tell you what, if I find one of these guys um, with the uh, double cestus, the brawlers, then we're going to capture them. Out of sheer principle. There you go, scoundrel. That's my boy. We'll keep you for a little bit later. So, move back. And done. Good damage. Marvelous. Destabilized, attacked, and weakened. Hey. Hit, hit. Bit of poisoning. Uh, we're not going to attack uh, this guy. Not yet. Let him come. Okay, our positioning was stupid. Okay, 
then we capture him. The answer appears to be no. Wow, that got us down to one hit point. All right. Let's not play with our food, shall we? That's really unfortunate. The idea was to capture him. Yeah, we could have done the same thing much smoother and without a problem. Whatever. It is what it is. Could have captured this guy, but as you can imagine, I was more interested in the brawler. Level 6, medium helmet, okay. Well, we're not level 6, so that's not going to happen. But we are trying to get some more lumber. How much do we have, by the way? Good. I was a betting man, I would say lumber can be found in the forest. That and pay, and we're good. How's this guy feeling? Neutral. Okay. By the way, how is everybody's social life looking? Adores? Yeah, they like each other quite a bit. The snow flowers are helpful because we can use the, them to make more medicine. I think this here... Oh no, that's a bandit camp. I thought for a second this is the trekkers camp. Alright, I tell you what. I'll just... Scour the lands and I will resume once I do have the 50 lumber. All right, we are back after a little bit of wood grinding. We got our 50 wood together. Um, we unfortunately lost our old captive and I got a new one called Ugram. Let's see how long he's going to stay with us. I've seen better quality. Don't move. I'll have this ship ready. Ta-da! All done. You can climb aboard and sail to the Valerian. Nice. Select the healsman. Okay. A uh, helmsman. Uh, that's apparently a new profession. Can the horse take a uh, profession? Okay, apparently, apparently your horse can take a new profession. Well, the ship moves automatically when sails are up. The speed depends on the wind, uh, which is shown in the compass. Uh, to accelerate, you can put uh, out the oars. 
but that will tire your troops. Your ship's condition will deteriorate if it suffers collisions or fired upon or during the weather. Ooh. Nice! I'm on a boat. Insert T Pain's song. Kingdom of Beleriand. And we're finally riding towards the uncharted sea. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pirates? You know what? Try to outmaneuver them. Apparently, we're a little bit faster. A good fight on uh, deck wouldn't be bad either. Nice. Captain Katif, the privateer. Okay, let's go, boys. First pirate battle. Here we go. False. Units pushed overboard are left hanging and can no longer use their skills. They can only be rescued by an ally or killed by an enemy in melee range. Ropes can be used to board the enemy's ship. The unit using disappears into uh, the rigging drops back down at a distance on the next turn, damaging and knocking back in nearby units. Cool. The ballista injures and knocks back units in its line of fire. Look at you. I think Jim wants to test um, how that attack feels. Yar! Where do we want to drop? I think we want to drop all the way down here because that's where most of the enemies will be. Oh no, one is manning a baluster. yet do we have a ballista as well no we did not build uh, build one but we can be swinging over just like in good times <laughs> nice Okay, a brawler moves up, lands dangerously close. Good hit. Fabulous. Fabulous. This guy has a massive hammer. These buccaneers are generally quite well equipped. And I like the new graphics. <laughs> well, hello there. Needs 30 to 40 damage if engaged, Ellie. Okay. So uh, he is a Corsair. Interesting. Seems like a new specialization. Yep, 
but he is definitely a little bit more on the um, glass cannon side. And we don't want to be pushed over, so let's position ourselves here. Oh, look at you. Clever. All right, round is starting. What? We're being disarmed? I like it. So many new skills. Fifty percent chance to insta kill him and take him a prisoner. Okay, we need to get out of here. Problem is, oh, it's not really a problem. I was about to say problem is when he lands, he can has direct access to our backline. But then I realized, yeah, that's not really the case. Um, yeah, I wanted one of uh, these dual wielding, um, dual wielding brawlers. So. That's a good one. Yep. Didn't do a thing. How could he attack afterwards? We couldn't do that. And he gets another turn. Okay, something is fundamentally not okay. Very strange. He gets another turn, Buccaneer, and deals a lot of damage. Holy, holy macaroni. a few too many turns in my book. So I can't use those ropes once I have attacked. Lovely. That will allow us to heal the burning. Good. On top of that, um, let's just weaken him. 
and hope that the hit does not deal as much damage. It unfortunately does. But we're still burning. I don't. I don't want us to take damage. That's why I chose to go up there. Heal up. Poison. Okay, I don't like this. Weakening him. And we're just delaying. Because we're still burning and too little hit for <laughs> Okay, that was an ultra close fight, <laughs> but a fun one. I don't. I clearly didn't know the mechanics well enough. We still have a five, so that uh, rare sword. Which is pretty damn good. Uh, deals damage to the target and forces it to engage. If already engaged with an ally, this ally and the unit gain one fe uh, fever. That is not bad for a tank in particular. We got a reputation. Okay, let's start visiting the dock here. Okay, Roby is the healsman. Uh, we might want to t uh, pick someone else. Gunner. Lookout. Uh, I think inappropriate Murphy is on the lookout. Drummer. That would be a bard. Oh no, that overrides the profession uh, proficiencies. Uh, he's alchemist. I don't know why it shows Tinkerer. Okay. To learn more about the Lords of the Sea, talk to Fan in the Pear Best a Tavern. We don't need to repair anything. We can upgrade a little bit more. But that happens over time. I think the docks are just for repair. And 
and we can sleep throughout the night. I would be surprised if our new companions would leave us here. Vandran, you're going to be a woodcutter. No, Vandran, you're going to be a miner and Ukram here is going to be the woodcutter. Alright, can we create something else? We can most certainly create a lot of rope. I would love to upgrade the material here, but we're requiring more sandstone. Cool. I can even store some of the material. Not that we need it at the moment, but it's not too bad. Uh, seaweed. That's actually not bad. If you like sushi, then seaweed is fantastic. Okay, I think we're just going to follow the game's proposal, which is go there and land in the middle of the pirate base. So, it feels very realistic how you're maneuvering the boat. Her best island. Okay, we landed. I think this is also a great opportunity for a nice uh, cliffhanger. We did well. We finally made it to Valerian. And from the next time onwards, we are going to rock the boat, pun very much intended, as we become the greatest pirates that have ever lived. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy the series, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.